In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to browse by images in the historical records collection on FamilySearch.org. Here we are on um, some Utah records, and to demonstrate how to browse images, we're going to use the early church information file, Browse Images. You can click on Browse Images or the title. They both take you to the same place. The first screen you're going to see is going to give you a description of what you might find on in this collection. You can read through that, you can learn more, and then you have the link to browse through the images. So you click there, and then you're going to come to a menu. Um, now, browsing each collection is going to be different, so you may not see a menu here. You may just go straight into the images, or you may see um, dates that you have to choose from, or maybe counties or locations. Or in this, like in this case, you see a list of names. So now we know from this list of names that um, the information is organized by um, alf alphabet. So the ancestor that I'm looking up is Isaac Sobey. So we need to find the S's. So you just scroll down till you find where you want to be. Now Sobey is spelled S-O-W, so we need to find which one of these choices will include Sobe. So we look through and it looks like this one, Sorit to Spray, will include Sobe. So you just click and then it's going to load the images. The first things that you'll probably see are just basic um, information about the film that was scanned. For example, this first image is probably the film number that was scanned. You can um, up here at the top you have your image tool and you can see that how many images there are for this film that was scanned and there are 6,110 6, for this one so you can tell that there's a lot to go through for this one. Um, you can use the arrows that are before and before and after the numbers to go page by page through the film or the images. And let's yeah, it's loading. And it's being slow. So you can see the first few images are usually just um, basic information uh, that have to do with microfilming. You can um, highlight or delete that um, number, the image number, and you can skip ahead some numbers. Let's go to image 10 so that we can see um, where we are in the film. Okay, so as you can see, we are on SOR, so we need to go to SOW. So I need to determine where I think SOW might appear on the film. So I'm going to just go to image 1000 and see where that puts me to see if I'm close to SOBI. All right, so here we are, and as you can see, we got lucky and we came to a SOBI. Now my ancestor is Isaac, and so Isaac is before Sarah in the alphabet, so I need to go backwards a few images. I can use the back arrow here by the image tool to go page by page, or I can guess again where I think Isaac might appear. So I'm going to go back 25 images to 975 and see where that puts me. Here we have Isaac George, so I'm in the Isaacs but my ancestor doesn't have a middle name, so he's going to be before Isaac George. So I can go um, page by page again, or I can again guess, and I'm just going to go five images back. So I'm going to go to 970 to see if I'm closer to an Isaac with no middle name. All right, so here we are, and we have Isaac with no uh, middle name. Now I can determine by his birth information if this is my ancestor and he was born in 1830 so it looks like this is uh, the ancestor I was looking for. Now I would go a page before and a page after or a couple of pages both ways to see if there's more information about my ancestor or I might go some more you know look through all of the Sobies to see if there are any more um, of my ancestors listed in this file. Um, once you find your ancestor, you can save this image to your source box. And if you look right up here on the top right hand side, 
you're going to have your source box. If you hover over that, you can see that you have an option of adding it to your source box. So you just click there and it's going to save that image right to your source box and then you can adjust the title and stuff from there. And that's the basics of browsing images.